Okay, so now I'm on to the transition metals, which on the spec are 3.5.4, if you want to check it out. And I'm going to start with the basics. So, the definition of a transition metal is it's a metal which can form one or more stable ions with an incomplete D subshell. They're found in the D block on the periodic table, however not all of the D block are transition metals. For instance, zinc. Zinc's not a transition metal, and we can tell this because its electronic configuration for the element is argon 3d10. Its electronic configuration for the iron, which is zinc 2+, plus, is also argon 3d10. And the reason it is argon 3d10 is because the S blocks electrons are removed before the D blocks. So in theory, zinc 2+, plus would be 3d8, 4s2. However, instead of there being the 4s2, them two electrons go into the D subshell. And you should remember this from unit 1. By definition then, zinc does not have an incomplete D subshell, therefore it cannot be a transition metal. So, in terms of physical properties, transition metals are all typical. And that means that they all have high melting and boiling points, very similar ionic radii, and high densities. In terms of chemical properties, well, transition metals are different from normal elements, and this is because they don't have outer electrons. Instead, they have incomplete D subshells which determine their chemical properties. So the chemical properties that transition metals do have are they have variable oxidation states, catalytic activity, which basically just means they're good catalysts, they form coloured ions, and they form complex ions. And in terms of the basics, that's all you need to know for the transition metals. What I'll go on to next is the chemical properties into more detail. So, um, yeah, cool.